Welcome back, everyone. Inspired Creations brings to you another exciting episode of Revelations. I am the most influential speaker from the House of M. And I am the King of Penguins, Diggs. We are back for another fun, exciting episode. I have three Funko Pops I want to show you, and Diggs has some nice uh, My Hero Academia toys for you to look at as well. So let's get right to it. Cool? Cool. This is Goku from the 28th uh, World Tournament. Uh, he is number 703, but he is in his classic blue outfit that you see in the beginning of Dragon Ball GT and also at the end of uh, the Dragon Ball Z series, uh, right before he fights in the World Tournament, of course. This is where he famously meets Oob for the first time and actually fights him in the arena. Um, here's the profile. I always want to show you the profile there. And then the profile side art. Pretty cool. And then there's the back as well. So you got training, Vegeta, you got Trunks, you got Piccolo, uh, Mecha Frieza, Krillin, Bulma, and Android 16 in that series. So Goku right there, pretty awesome. Love my, love Goku, love this guy. This is Saitama, um, and this is him. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, this is him at the, art, at the Martial Arts Tournament. And if you're thinking he looks different here, it's because he does. Normally he's the bald guy. Uh, but he put on this wig and this gi so that as an as an outfit to disguise him, uh, so he can enter in this tournament and uh, and have success. And I had to pick this one up. It's a hot topic exclusive, fairly recent. So if you want to go try to find him, feel free. There's the side art for him. There's the side view of the Funko Pop and the other Funkos in the series as well. These guys are really hard to find though. Now actually, Janos is uh, archived, uh, but I'm pretty sure Saitama. And uh, the Lord guy is uh, available still, probably like on Amazon or third-party vendors. Very tough to find in retail now, though. But this one, you can go to Hot Topic and find right away, hopefully, anyway. So this one, I excitedly got at Hot Topic, and it was on sale. Actually, it was on clearance for, um, was it, god dang, I think it was like, I want to say $5, but I think it was 10 which is just which is more than half off. I think it was 10. Um, so I'm going to show you this. This is from the Power Rangers line, the White Tiger Zord. The size is a little bit bigger than the standard Funko Pops that you've seen uh, just before a moment. So I'll get you a little side-by-side -side comparison here if I can get two hands working together. Uh, there they are. So there's the size, dif size differential there. So very cool. But this is the White Tiger Zord from Power Rangers. See if I can get a close-up view for you. So cool looking. I saw this guy on clearance and I had, had to get him up immediately. Get this guy. Um, there's the back panel for the other Power Rangers in the series. Um, but fantastic looking. I love, love the Power Rangers, love these toys, and I love these uh, Zords uh, as well. So this is the first one. I missed out on that Target exclusive. Um, uh, what is it? The Dinos, the, the Megazord, Megazord. Um, never had that, but uh, this one I saw half price people from Hot Topic. Um, had to pick that up right away. Yeah. So those are the Funko Pops. We're going to transition right into the My Hero Academia toy lines that Diggs has to show you. So Diggs, let's uh, see what you got. All right. So here I have two My Hero Academia action vinyls from the same series. And I'm pretty sure that there might be more than one series, but I'm not too sure. So I've got two of them here to show you today. First one here is Izuku Midoriya. Up close there. On the side we've got All Might, Ida, Sue, and Uraraka. we got a golden Midoriya over here. Another Midoriya and another Sue. And then Todoroki, Bakugo, Ido with his helmet, and then Midoriya with a removable mask. Here we have Midoriya. Got opposable. He's a little articulated. Yeah, he's a little articulated. Um, you can see his mask there, kinda. Now, it did say his thing was removable, right? Yeah. But how do you remove this? Do you think his head pops off? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. So it's going to stay gonna on there right now. <laughs> yeah. So, 
I got two of these, like I said, and this other one just makes sense to get along with Midoriya here. And the second one is none other than All Might himself. Woohoo! Oh, he's so cool looking. Yeah. And then what outfit is he in? What they call that? The his prime. It's so All Might in his prime. Kind of. Or yeah. no. Because the young silver age. The silver is the red one. Silver is it? Yeah, silver so is, this the... is the golden. Age? I don't know, I, maybe. I don't know. We'll but yeah, the Silver Age is the red one, because that's yeah. that's when he was really young. Then there's a version when he was like a, just starting out. Yeah. This might be uh, appropriate to name the Prime, because this is when he was at his, at his pinnacle. Yeah. But, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'd assume it might be uh, his Prime. But there's All Might. Stand him alongside. Oh, boy. Good luck. Good luck I'll standing try. them on there. <laughs> Oh, oh look go. at you! You did it. And yeah, Midoriya and All Might, some pretty cool figures. All right, so that's our show. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the Funko Pops we showed you and the My Hero Academia stuff. Uh, I do just want to remind you that if you're watching this, please subscribe to us. Um, just share our videos as well. You can also follow us on Facebook. Um, we're at Facebook as Inspired Creations H O M. Give us a search. Once you find us, like our page, share our page. You'll get links to our YouTube shows, all of the artwork we do, um, our podcast as well. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, let us know what you think about that as well. And if you have any comments about this show, you can email either Diggs or myself um, at our email. Uh, you can email us at iceboxcast at gmail.com. That's iceboxcast at gmail.com. Uh, that's it. Remember, everyone, it's never too late to create. Bye-bye. Yeah.